Hi guys, it's Baz here, the Everyday Vegan, and I haven't actually cooked or baked in ages. There's Coco just wandering in, he's really cranky because I have a new dishwasher, and that doesn't fit in with his worldview, I don't think. You will unfortunately also hear the washing machine every so often because I couldn't have timed this better. <laughs> but it's getting dark at some point, so I want to get this filmed. So what I'm making today is banana bread. The reason I'm making banana bread is because I myself have been craving it for a while, and I've looked for a couple of recipes. I try to find some that have the least amount of ingredients, and I think a lot of these ingredients that I'll take you through in a minute over here they are optional the main part I guess is the flour somewhere there the oil and the baking powder maybe and of course the bananas but everything else optional but I'll show you the ingredients now so we've got some margarine in the bread pan of course we've got some vegetable oil some baking powder cinnamon nutmeg vanilla extract a few dried apricots just for flavor I think then you're meant to use regular flour but I didn't have enough regular flour so I use a little bit of bread flour which I think for banana bread is okay then we've got some nuts here you're meant to use 73 grams of almonds but I've used a mixture of nuts and I've sort of cut them down a little bit and they used a mortar to sort of make them into smaller pieces, some sea salt, and of course bananas. What you need for banana bread? The first thing is as per usual that the recipe is calling for is to preheat the oven and it says 375 degrees. I'm assuming that's Fahrenheit so I'm going to do about 180 to 200 degrees in the oven and after that I'm meant to mix the dried ingredients which is the first thing I'll film today. I'll put the amounts of ingredients that you need in the video when the ingredients are actually being shown so I don't have to mention them now. Just mixing all the dried ingredients together a bit. Stay still, ball! And the light is fading. It's a miserable day outside, by the way. That's my garden, which is quite nice. I've been doing a lot of tidying up, but look at the sky. It's grey. <laughs> I almost forgot the apricots. I think they count as dry ingredients, so I'm gonna add them and then just mix it through again. Now the recipe calls to uh, cut up these bad boys and mix them in a second bowl, and then to add the vanilla extract and the oil, and then it meant to be some sort of mush, and then to add both and put them in the oven. So just watch me do that. washing machine has finally decided to finish so it's nice and quiet and I ended up with this nice little mush here mm. to which I now need to add the oil and the vanilla extract which I'll do now and now of course I'm meant to mix this until it's evenly formed I'm not gonna lie it doesn't look too appealing but we'll see what we get I think that's about as good as I'm gonna get it so now I'm meant to add the wet ingredients this goop to the dry ingredients and then mix it or fold it into a mixture which should be combined but yet still pourable not sure what that means we'll see <laughs> Well, I'm gonna mix this in now and then I'll let you know how it looks like. Starting to look quite nice, actually. And you can see it's quite chunky, which I like, especially in banana bread, if I've had it in cafes or whatever. You can see the individual bits of apricot still in there. Not sure if this is sort of gooey enough or if it's considered pourable. So I might put some water in this and see how I get on with that. All I've got left to do now is put it into this sort of baking tray or bread tray. Obviously, I'll put some margarine in there so it doesn't stick. I've treated that with margarine now and here we go. Don't really know know how full I should fill this oh well I'll let you know how when I'm finished huh are you impressed good amount I think I think I want to cut up this banana I put like banana slices on the top that might be quite nice not bad huh so this is now going into the oven for about 25 minutes but I have to test it every so often because it depends on the dish in the oven of course I'll keep you updated so the timer has just reached zero. It looks really nice, but I need to test if the knife still sticks. Yeah, so dough is still sticking to the knife, so I'm gonna leave it in there for another 10 minutes or so. This is another 10 minutes in. Still a bit gooey on the inside. So this has been in about 50 minutes, I think, in the end. But look, it looks absolutely amazing. It's gonna come out. Now, would you look at that? Isn't that beautiful? Now I just have to get it out of the whole thing. Guys, this is it. Isn't that beautiful? I'm proud of myself if I may say so. Look, you can see all the nuts and the things in there. I need to try some now. This is it. I'm gonna try it. Mmm. Why am I looking? Wow. Oh. Okay. 
pretty hot. Guys, that's it. It was very successful. I'm very happy with my first time ever making that. And that's it, guys. Hope you enjoy the recipes. If you have any suggestions, any changes to the recipe that I use, please let me know. Let me know how you got on. And otherwise, be kind, be vegan. See you next time. Bye. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do as per usual, the first thing I'm going to do as per usual, they are optional. Um, the main part somewhere there, the uh, oil and the optional. But I'll show you the recipes. But I'll show you the ingredients now. I almost forgot the uh, mush together and to add the oil. It blah, blah. Folded? Is that baking language? Please enlighten me if there are lots of professional bakers of you out there. So folded. Disgusting vegan cooking with bears. That's what I'm gonna name my channel from now on. Mmm. Well, individual bit of bits of apron. It's actually getting quite dark outside, so I might have to switch on unnatural light in a minute, which um